Frank Zappa said, a mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work if it isn't open. Our minds are open through experience, which brings about change. And through that change, that's when our feelings are developed. Whether it's a good feeling or a bad feeling, only you know what you're feeling through that change. Change may be planned or take place unexpectedly. How we feel really determines whether we grow or not. As a child, I used to draw designs, but really never took time to actually think of it as a career path that I'd want to take further. But through the recent years, that feeling has came back and since I joined Toys Masters late last year, a lot of change has happened. So early this year, I took the decision to actually go through a sewing class, which I attend on weekends. In the beginning, it was a bit overwhelming because I, during the week I go to work and I also need to plan uh, the agenda for the next meeting for Toastmasters. Doing three things at a time was a bit overwhelming because somehow those things were, I planned to do, but never at the same time. The Toastmaster journey has actually made me stronger than I thought I'd be. And being a vice president education has really tested me. <laughs> because with that, people tend to change on the day or prior that. And somehow I have to ensure that the program is ready for the day. It doesn't matter whether you change a minute before, it has to be done. And during certain times, I felt like giving up because it actually takes a lot to talk to people, to try them, to make them actually be part of the agenda because it's not easy getting people to actually commit. And through this journey, I actually at some point wanted to quit. But because something kept telling me, you know, if you quit, you're a failure. But most of all, you're failing yourself and hindering you. And through that, it actually inspired me to do the sewing, which in the beginning of the year, it was a bit, it wasn't easy because as humans, we think designing clothes is easy and when you actually want something to be designed for you, you'd want that person to hire you. But in real fact, it's not that easy. It takes time, but sometimes you feel like giving up because is what you're making is not coming together at the time you want it to be done. And also, it needs you to have a clear mind when you're doing it, because if you're frustrated or angry or take other emotions, you might not produce what you actually plan to produce. And that was a hobby for me, but somehow I see it being a hobby that will make money for me eventually. And with the Choice Master journey, it's something that I've wanted to do because in high in primary school I did it, but since then I haven't done it until last year. And after my first speech, I was a bit nervous and scared to actually come up here and stand again. But through people saying, no, come talk, and last, <laughs> last week I was supposed to be here to speak for Nandi, but because unexpected change occurred, I couldn't make it. And today I decided whether something that will hinder my emotions or whatever the case is, I am standing here because I want to improve on my confidence of speaking and also be able to improve on my speech. So with unexpected
expect to change. That's the change that actually makes you want to improve on yourself. Because losing a friend, a job, or anything precious to you, that really makes you think otherwise of carrying on. You tend to get all the bad emotions and you think, why did this happen to me? Why now? But somewhere along the lines, that change is the one that is actually magical because it pushes you to do better. But if you see a challenge through that journey, then you won't succeed in what you want to conquer. Through that change, that's the reason why I'm here today and going forward. And I hope and believe that this is the best change I've ever made. Thank you, Taban, for that speech. For the people that I knew to Postmasters, actually the